Bill Cosby, three words for you. Guilty, guilty, guilty! guilty. I feel <laughs> highly... I feel like I'm dreaming. I feel like my... I feel like my faith in humanity is restored. I just want to thank uh, D.A. Steele and his amazing team and all of, of the people who believed in us every step of the way. We are so grateful to all of you and thank you, thank you, thank you. We are vindicated, we are validated. I stand here in the spirit of Martin Luther King who said that the arc of the moral universe is long, but today it has bent towards justice. Woo. Last year, when I was sitting in the courtroom of the first trial and the verdict was hung, I left with such a tremendous sense of disappointment and it became evident to me that the justice system is light years behind modern culture. But today, this jury has shown that the Me Too, what the Me Too movement has saying is that women are worthy of being believed. And I thank the jury. I thank the prosecution. But I looked at that jury, there's this one young black man on that jury who I looked upon as my son, and I know the disappointment that he felt in looking at a beloved black male iconic father figure and being, being able to yet render a guilty verdict. I thank him. I thank all the juries, and this is a victory not just for Andrea Constant, whom I consider to be the Joan of Arc in the war on rape. It is not just a victory for the Commonwealth. It is not just a victory for the 62 of us publicly known Cosby survivors. And I thank you all in the media. You are the pillars of democracy. Without you, none of this would have happened. Andrea Constant came here to Norristown for justice. And that's what 12 jurors from Montgomery County provided her. So today, we're, we're finally in a place to say that justice was done. Money and power, or who you are, will not stop us from a criminal investigation or prosecuting a case. And what was revealed through this investigation was a man who had spent decades preying on women that he drugged and sexually assaulted, and a man who had evaded this moment here today for far too long. He used his celebrity, he used his wealth, he used his network of supporters to help him conceal his crimes. And now we really know today who was behind that act, who the real Bill Cosby was, and a jury has spoken with one voice in a court of law and found the defendant guilty of drugging, drugging and sexually assaulting Andrea Constant in his Elkins Park home. We are very disappointed by the verdict. We don't think Mr. Cosby is guilty of anything, and the fight is not over. Thank you. Are you going to appeal, sir? Yes. Yes. Yes, very strongly. Is Mr. Cosby prepared to go to prison? Mr. Cosby, you prepared to go to prison, sir? I think it's very interesting that she chose words such as massive man, especially when she gave in her testimony that her and her friend Judy were actually on their way because they enjoyed big black men. She stopped, talked about getting effed up and sleeping with Bill Cosby. They parade these five distractors in to tell stories and talk about the drug habits they had. You have Lisa Lott Lublin who said, I don't even remember if anything happened to me. All 60 women are lying. May I ask a question? Since when are all people honest? And since when are all women honest? We are so happy that finally we can say women are believed and not only on hashtag me too, but in a court of law where they were under oath, where they testified truthfully, where they were attacked, where they were smeared, where they were denigrated.